the YouTube channel of Kanak Info Systems, your ultimate source for all ERP solution. So today we will be talking about reconciliation, how we can reconcile the payment with the bank statements, with import the bank statement file. So currently I am on Odoo version 17 database and already installed the accounting application. In the configuration settings, you can see I have already selected the fiscal localization that is ch generic chart templates. Now, we have this accounting journals, customer invoices, vendor bills, and cash bank, and many more. By clicking on new invoice, we can register new invoice. So let's register a new invoice with selecting a customer name, Emmy, and selecting a product now we can confirm the invoice we can register a payment by clicking on this register payment icon and we can also have option to register the payment if we receive a specific advance so we can click on this customers menu and we can go to payments here we can register single payments that is advances and all. Now let me go to invoices first that we have been creating. So I am on that invoice. I have already confirmed the invoice to register the payment. Let me click on register payment option. Here suppose we have received $45 as an advance payment. So Odoo will ask us if we want to keep open this invoice or will mark as fully paid. So we are keeping open. So we can click on create payment. You can see we have this green banner that is uh, showing this invoice is partially paid because we have already received $45 payment. And this is the due. Now uh, let's suppose we have registered the remaining payment as well. So when we click on create register payment system will show us that we only need 472.50 dollars so we can create a payment again now you can see the status of the invoice is is showing as in payment and amount due is zero we have two payment registered that is $45 and remaining of $472.50. Now to do the reconciliation, we have two options in Odoo. Either we can create a bank statement line manually or we can import the bank statement file and system will auto map the fills and we can reconcile the payments. Now to do so, we can go to dashboard we have this bank journal from here we can click on new transaction so if we want to create a bank statement line manually we can add date label select a partner related that invoice and add actual amount that we have invoiced and we can save and close so we can create new bank statement line and to import a file we have this option of import file from here we can select a file to import bank statement and then we can proceed with reconciliation process now this is the bank statement xls so you can see i have three fields right now date partner and amount with the data of uh, date, partner, ME and amount that we have actually invoiced. To import the file, we can click on import file. We can select that XLS. We can click on test file. You can see we system is showing everything seems valid. That means we can import this file. So we can click on import. Now, one record successfully imported. We can see system is showing us as reconcile one items. So we can click on reconcile one item. 
you can see we have received we have imported the bank statement worth rupees 517.50 and when we import it uh, system will auto map related payments that in our case we have received two payments that is for $45 and $472.50. So we can click on validate. You can see we have valid, uh, we have reconciled the items. Now we can go to the dashboard view. And if we go to bank journal, we have nothing to invoice right now. We can click on invoices. And you can see uh, system is showing us that our invoice is now it is in paid stage earlier it was in in payment so this is how we can do the reconciliation with importing the bank statement thank you